The people who are arguing for us to leave the EU come up with lots of slogans like I want my country back, focusing on the loss of control that people feel over their lives. But is it really the EU that has left us feeling out of control? The past 30 years have seen a rapid increase in global transport and communications. These connections have been exploited by corporations that now operate beyond national boundaries to increase their power. As a shorthand, we call this globalisation. Politicians and democratic institutions have not kept up with these changes, which means that in areas as varied as environmental pollution, human rights and tax avoidance, the corporations have made sure that the global economy works for them rather than for us. For many of those arguing to come out of the EU, the problems that they lay at the door of these institutions are actually problems arising from the rapid and unrestrained process of globalisation and particularly the amount of power that's in the hands of corporations. This is the real source of the loss of democratic power, which is at the heart of the argument about governance that is central to this referendum campaign. From my perspective here, I know what the institutions are doing to tackle corporate power. Competition Commissioner Margareta Vestager has taken on the multinational giants, Microsoft and Google, Samsung and Toshiba, to investigate whether they are engaged in unfair competition. Following two recent investigations, Fiat and Starbucks were ordered to pay up to 30 million euros each, and there are many more investigations on the way, and fines to come as well. So we see the EU Commission standing up to corporate power in the interest of European citizens. Globalisation means that companies can now move their production operations offshore to countries on the other side of the world. This has left many people, particularly those with fewer skills and less education, struggling to find a job. We need to find ways to make sure that globalisation works for everybody, not just the well-educated and the wealthy. But to do this, we need to cooperate between countries. It's only possible to stand up to corporations at a transnational level where they operate. So if we did not have the EU, we would have to invent a body just like it to resist corporate power. A classic example of where we need cooperation between countries is on tax avoidance. The corporations have encouraged governments to race to the bottom on cutting the rate of tax they pay and giving them sweetheart deals. And they move their profits around to avoid paying a fair rate of tax. But it is obvious that if the corporations are exploiting loopholes between countries, we can only tackle this by working together with other countries. Greens have led on ending the corporate tax avoidance in the EU, and we are making significant headway, which simply would not be possible to use it as a platform to tackle corporate power and to make globalization work for us all. So in many ways, we need to stay in the EU to use it as a platform to tackle corporate power and to make globalization work for us all.